Hi, we are Catherine McNamara and Matthew Daddario, and we are here with BuzzFeed today to take a quiz to find out how well we actually know each other. I think we know each other pretty well, Matt. We spend a oh, lot of time. We know time. each other damn well. In fact, I think we're going to prove it here with this first question. Let's find out. What is your birthday, I assume? So do you know mine? I do know your birthday. November 22nd. Very good. Got it. We nailed it. We both checked that off. I definitely knew your birthday. Now, this is going to be a problem because that's that might be where it begins and ends of what I know. <laughs> They're astrological signs. I think that makes you a Libra. I don't yeah. know the astrological signs. You could be the scorpion. I am. That's half right. So you should count it because I'm I'm on the cusp day. So I'm taking You're on the cusp day. day. Yeah. So I'm scorpion. See, I, I took from what I know and I applied it. Your parents and siblings. I know your mom's name. You do? Yeah, because it was a name that stuck with me because it's not a name I, I, I see frequently. Your mother's name is Ursula. It is. You don't have any siblings. And I, I wish I knew your grandparents' names, but I don't know. That's okay. You'll meet them eventually, I'm sure. Okay, good. They adore you. Your siblings' names are Alex and Catherine. Very good. Your dad's name is Richard. Ah, oh, okay. And your mom's name is Christina. Oh my good Lord almighty. You, you are absolutely correct. That is incredible. I feel so known, uh, so understood. What friends are for. Oh, the boy, first boy. time we met. Oh, I remember. I don't remember the date. I don't remember the date. I'm assuming the location is probably the, the, the that Dinner we went to or lunch we went to? So we met in the lobby of that hotel? In Toronto. I remember my first impression of you. You were very tall. That was my first oh, thank time. You. He's very tall. I don't know what my first impression of you was. It's not right. I, I don't remember. Their favorite movie or TV show of all time. Okay. I don't know your favorite of all time, but I do know one that you love because you've recommended it to me. So Jack Horseman? Uh, is, uh, I've recommended that, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, it's not my favorite show of all time. But then again, we shouldn't play favorites with anything. No, of course not. It's not right to do that. That would be wrong. So I think in terms of favorite movie or TV show of all time, I don't have a good answer for you. Tell me what your favorite movie is of all time. I got to know. One of my favorites is Gilda with Rita Hayworth from 1936, I want to say. Yeah, um, yeah, me too. My, my. The, the Princess Bride is, if I have to pick one. I think you've that. mentioned The Princess Bride. That's right. That's right. Okay, I didn't get that one, so I don't get to click it. I don't think I did either. The think... first acting job, I know you did that play with Lansbury, right? Yeah. I don't know what the play was. That's okay. That counts. I'll... I think that counts. That I was your I... first, like, big thing, right? That was what brought you to New York? Yeah. Yeah, I know that because that's super cool, frankly. Mm -hmm. Yours was also super cool, if it's the one that I know of. Was Delivery Man your first acting job? No, but that's 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 back there. No, I, my first one really is Breathe In. Oh, right. Yeah, the okay. Duramis film, by Drake Duramis. A, uh, which is a, a good film. I think it's an underrated flick. I think you should go check it out. You should check it out. Their I favorite love it. snack. You like potato, potato chips, potatoes? I like potatoes. Apples are usually my go-to. Apples, ah, damn That's it. close. Oh, I don't get that one. I don't get that one. What's it's, my favorite snack? I feel like when I imagine what your favorite snack would be, your ideal would be like some amazingly curated charcuterie board. Am I saying that right? You know, with like some good meat. Not and, to me. What am I? It's some kind of fancy. You're not wrong, I, I, but everyone likes that. Everyone, everyone wants some cheese and meat on a plat on a platter. That's, that's not like a snack. That's like a that's a whole that's a whole meal. Chicharrones. I like pork rinds. That's oh, my okay. favorite snack. And there's big ones at the Valarta down in, in California big, here. Big large, giant. You can't even large. imagine. I'll take a photo with one as big as me. The whole it's side like, of the pig. Like yeah, you gotta check it out. A it's, single it's, kind? Oh yeah, I, I gotta. Sh I'll, I'll take you up to the Velarta. It's a whole. It's a. It's a mystery. Let me tell you what. I think we get along so well. It's not much uh, flusters you. Not much annoys. Yeah, I'm not you. gonna get worked. Yeah, yeah. We're not gonna get worked up about something. Some no. silly nothing. I think if any, if I had to think of anything that would bug you, it would be if we were all in a group setting and somebody wasn't like down to have fun and wasn't kind of relaxing and enjoying. But then that's when you step in and you sort of. Yeah, Just you got to fix it. You got to right. adapt to the situation. Got to help them out. Right. I think so, you're the same way. I've never seen you get aggravated over some nothing. No. Pet peeves are, that's my biggest pet peeve is people with pet peeves. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's silly. 
So let's, I, I think we're on the same page, which yes. counts as knowing the other person. So I think we both get that one. I love that idea. Favorite yeah. alcohol beverage, I know yours. And I think I know yours. Um, yours is definitely, oh, ooh, I'm going with scotch. scotch. Thanks to you, actually. You sat me down. I used to drink whiskey only and kind of was experimenting with different things. And you sat me down one day and said, today you drink scotch and I've never- Try this. Yeah, yeah, I think honestly, it's it's you're gonna drink like you're not a big mixed drink person. You're not a big beer person, so why not go with scotch? I mean, it's tasty. It's it is. Not... Tasty. I would say either scotch mm -hmm. or personality juice. Oh, personality juice! Personality juice is pretty fantastic. I can't believe you know about personality juice. I guess I you, you forget the times that you drink personality juice. It just gives you so much personality. It's true. Let's go with personality juice. Okay. The scotch is also correct. I think we both got it right. <laughs> I never tell anyone what personality juice is. That's a trade secret. You can't let anyone know. That's that's the, the finest drink that exists. They're no. hidden talent. Can you lick your elbow? I cannot lick my elbow. Okay, so I got that one. <laughs> I got long, long arms, doesn't quite reach. Aside from things like knitting and baking, I'm good at Tetrising items in a suitcase. I think we've all become quite good at that. You know, that's something I'm good at. I think that you spent like 24 hours baking once. It was actually, I was eating them and I was thinking, there's no way she made these, but you did. It, did. it was unbelievable. I think that I, just things that you can't get at the bakery because they're like, no, we're not going to make that. That's too time consuming. And you well, did it, hand delivered it. There is a hidden talent for you though that a lot of people may not know. Tell Aside me, from your, your just intelligence and your Google skills, I would say that your ability to cook a fantastic steak. I, I, I agree. It should be discussed in all kinds of environments. Give me a grill, oven, give me a tin can and some and some wood. I'll nothing will steak. stop this man from cooking a perfect no, steak. Nothing will stop it. Their yeah. biggest celebrity crush. Oh my, oh my. You know, I have no damn idea. I would say I can never answer these, these questions about no. About coworkers, you know, you can't, I just don't know the answer. <laughs> it's a tough one for me to answer. You got nine out of 12. Oh my God, me too. <laughs> it says, you know, absolutely everything there is to know about your best friend. Well, it's not true. Well, it's true. Mm -hmm. You've been in each other's lives for a long time now and you even finished each other's sentences. You're basically the same person. Seems unlikely, but you know what? I'll take it. I'll accept it. I wouldn't say we're basically the same person, but I would say we're very much on the same wavelength. We're on the wavelength. I'm a big fan of this test. I like it. I think everybody should go home and take this test. I agree. Go to BuzzFeed.com and take the test. Thanks so much for having us, BuzzFeed, and be sure to check out Trust, our new film.